Hello, I'm Dana. And I'm Cathy Sinnott. And I'm Catherine Wiley. And I want to tell you about a powerful new movement in the Catholic Church. As a grandmother, looking back on my life and seeing how precious my faith has been, especially in those moments of uncertainty and crisis, it breaks my heart when I see those close to me drifting away from the faith. I recall my own mother and father and how they entrusted me with this precious gift of faith. Even though, like every family, we had our ups and downs and crosses, our faith sustained us through all of it. And I'm also so grateful for the faith I've received from my parents and my grandparents. My mother and father taught us to pray the rosary when we were children, just as they were taught in their homes. In fact, I remember one very stormy night, my mother was calling out the rosary from her bedroom and in our bedroom we were answering as children, we were just young children. And the next morning, I remember the neighbours on either side thanked my mother, thank you Mrs Brown, they said, we were answering the rosary in our rooms too. And that's, that's just how it was. Well, Damien and I have prayed the rosary with our children and now we want to pass on this powerful prayer and our faith to this new generation. We pray every day that our family and our grandchildren will know and love Jesus in a personal way and that they'll experience the love and protection of our Blessed Mother. Jesus said, let the little children come unto me. And it's so important that we as grandparents play our part in bringing the children to our Lord. 1,600 years ago, St. Patrick brought the faith to my ancestors. Generations after generations, that precious gift has been passed on. And I'm sure that some held it high and some of my ancestors stumbled. Some may have treated the gift lightly, while others treasured it and may even have died for it. But they passed it on and entrusted it to me. Our Catholic faith is all I want for my children and grandchildren and for their children. And yet we live in what may be the most challenging time. Will my family love and lift the Catholic faith? Shall I be the one to falter in this mission? In this I trust to the mercy of God and the intercession of His Holy Mother and am very grateful for the prayer support of the Catholic Grandparents Association. My grandmother died when she was very young, so I only knew one maternal grandfather. And even though I was one of ten children, he made me feel very special. But there were ten of us, and all ten of us thought we were his favourite. And that's the great gift of grandparents. I remember him teaching me the gospel stories as I sat on his knee by the fire. It was from him I had my first image of prayer, with him kneeling, reciting the family rosary. And I'll be eternally grateful to my grandfather for teaching me and passing on the faith to me. The Catholic Grandparents Association motto is passing on the faith. And the task is great, and the need is urgent, and the timing is absolutely crucial. We are so very grateful for all that God has enabled us to accomplish in our lives. However, we still have one job left to do, and this is the most important one of all. And this is one job we can never retire from, because this is our vocation as grandparents, to pass on the faith to our grandchildren and to help safeguard the faith for generations to come. And we can do this together, and together we cannot fail. Failure is simply not an option. So join us in this great apostolate, which is the Catholic Grandparents Association. Thank you and God bless you. And may St. Joachim and St. Anne, the parents of Mary, and the grandparents of Jesus, bless you and your children and your grandchildren. Amen. Amen. Amen.